another video an athlete an epic video today what are we gonna be talking about well I started this theory a couple months ago and I still have more I think I got through half of them and actually I uploaded this one but it didn't stop the whole video so I'm re-uploading it but I'm making it better we said where am I where am I any that's it where am I oh. No. Did I did I go there? No. Yeah, you bet I did. You bet. You bet I did. But until then, if you knew you I are new to this channel, and this is the very first video, welcome back. Or hello. Hello. Leave it, let me know down below if you are new. And one thing you gotta do, smash that subscribe button. Turn on that bell notification to be notified when these videos come out. Because they just get better and better every time. Stay tuned. And let's do this thing. Let's do it. Where are we gonna be talking about today? Any guesses? I would give you 10 seconds if you can guess by where I'm standing. You ready? 10, 9, well, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Did I do it? Did I do it? I'm looking at your timing right now. Eh. Some of you got it. I think one or two of you got it, but they're tested though. They're tested, but not quite. Alright. We have photos of all that. Let me just tell you where we are. Where we are. We are in Greece. That's why I really want to go to Greece. The city of the dad. I really want to go to Greece. Good beaches, good water, the picture opportunity. All the dad live there, the, mon the monument, a lot of history. History. So, that's why right. we are in Greece. We're talking about Greece. So, Greece is a, um, in the Mediterranean Sea. So that's good. Because if you are on the Mediterranean Sea, you have really good temperature all year round. So you can go there in the winter time, what, back at home, but over there, it could be like, kind of like Florida weather, kind of. Maybe a little too long, but you did the shit. And then, there's lots of ancient Greek history. In it. There's a lot of history to learn. There's a lot of buildings and structures that are from way back then that makes it even a better city to visit. If you want to go to Greece and want to go swimming, the perfect time to go is May to beginning of October. It would be the perfect time to go for swimming if you want to go swimming or flip something or any of that. If you want to visit like the popular island, the Antonian, which that's where I want to go, then you're looking at like June, 
and through the temple is the prime time to go visit that city. And I decided that I would be traveling to Greece in the month of either May or September. Two different very months. I probably would think more September is what I'm thinking right now. Probably September, like mid-September. And the only thing that is required to enter this country is a U.S. passport. That's all you need to do. Nothing else, just a U.S. passport. The closest airport to where I'm going to be flying into is Athena, Athena International Airport. And it's about and I'm gonna be flying out of Toronto because it's cheaper. So I found a flight that leaves at 6.45 at night. That's good because a wet, wet airline means not many people travel at night so the plane won't be crowded. And you get to sleep on the plane and get there and it'll be more time. Even better. And it's only around $400 for that flight. Wild trip, should I say. Wild trip. That's not bad. What kind of money do they use in Greece? Is they use Euro, the same thing that they use in any European country. So to our dollar is 1.13. And to, no wait, all, to one dollar of US it's 0.89 in euro, and the other way around, one euro is a dollar thirteen in Amer in our money. Just need to know before you travel to your different country because very good, very good calculation to know. The labor that they be are the two, one Italian. We did a hint European. The other one is Toti, which is a bastard language in Korean, because that's what you will hear a lot. But Italian, their religion is Eastern Orthodox. So that's just like any, that's kind of like Italy. And the places that I will be staying is a TI villa which have a private pool with a view of the ocean and it's only $200 a night. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. With, with my business did, that'd be a doable thing. The mean of location transportation is at the ferry, which I will be doing on the ferry, because there is an island that is only allowed to be accessed by a ferry. Crane, because when you go to Europe, Crane is a big way of traveling all over Europe. You could run at all, but you don't really need to run at all. They're all taxi and they're all buses. I would mostly be uh, using the train and the ferry. Maybe I use one or twice a taxi. Lots of food that they eat. Um, they eat fish. They eat gyro. I love that stuff. But it would, be, it would be fun to see what it actually tastes like in the country because, you know, America tend to put more fat and sugar in the food than other countries. Then, they have duck grape leaves. It sounds amazing. The number one thing is, when you travel to these different countries or a different state, you got to try new food. 
food is different wherever you go. It's just different, especially in other countries. You need to you need to find the thing that local eat and try it when you're there. Because they didn't say you had it or you tried it, and you will be more experienced to those type of food. I'm going to be doing cave hunting because there's lots of cave in the tree. I'm going to go visit some museum and monument of the dog. I'm going to go to the Aquawood Aquarium. There's a waterfall and there's an aquarium. I'm a daredevil. I love waterfall. I love theme park. You know, I like the height. I like the thrill. Then I'm gonna go to a reptile rescue center. That's why I should probably see some data. And then more museum. And then if I have time, I'm gonna go see more monuments, more museum, because there's hundreds of them all over three that you probably can't go see the whole time you're there. Some of the events that I will be doing is I'm going to take a private crew to an island that they do dinner and you have to see the sunset over the ocean. Oh, peaceful. And the reason why I want to go to three is pretty much the history of it, the architecture of the building, the view, the awesome photo, photo opportunity, and of course the prime sunset and sunrise picture, and just have a good time in another country. So, that is what I will be doing, where I'm going to be staying, when I should be going to free. So, if you want to go to Shui or show me, leave it down in below. Down below. Or, leave it down below. Where is your top vacation you ever want to take? Like your number one choice. Obviously, my number one choice is Bora Bora or Fiji are the top two. Because, oh, the Georgia. And I want to stay in one of those hot. One of those hot on the on the water. You wake up and you can just jump right into the ocean. Perfect. Let me know what you're on. And with that, before we get into random dancing, let me just tell you, find your magic moment. You are worth it. Believe in yourself. And if you have passion of traveling or having a home, stay at home job or any of that stuff, just know that if you have a mindset and you have a door on your wall or on your phone, that you can accomplish any of that every single day. Just tell yourself that every single day when you wake up, you can do it. You are worth it. And with that, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.